Now you can extract RGB information, so I'm going to go ahead and load up a tool so we can demonstrate that. In fact, we'll load up a couple. We'll grab this um, commander head and this statue. So we'll take this, oops, sorry, this Frankenstein head. And we load this up. We go into solo mode here. You can see we've already been kind of practicing this, but we can go into our Damien standard brush. If we want to go ahead and paint while we sculpt, let's we'll turn on RGB. Now you're going to see when I start uh, using the Damien standard brush with RGB turned on, it's just going to paint white. Uh, I want to do a kind of like a recessed scar, so I'm going to change that color to kind of a dark red. And then now as I go and use the Damien standard tool, it'll be a nice dark red. If I want to just see what I'm sculpting, I'm going to turn off poly paint temporarily. We'll go back up to white. And then I'll turn off RGB. I'm going to hold down Alt. And let's go ahead and pull up these sides just a little bit here. And I can go through here and I can also pinch this together. Now if I want to put stitches across here, like say I go to the standard brush and I just start sculpting across, you're going to see it's not a very clean sculpt. It kind of goes across and kind of divots in. So if you remember back from the previous videos, I can use a history recall brush for this. I'm going to BHR really quickly. The first point in history is just when I loaded it, so that's fine. I can I can grab history from that point. So I can just go through here and I can make a nice clean bridge. Uh, so again, I'm going to go back to this beginning, control tap to mark that point in history. And then I'm just going to use a history recall brush just to kind of put a clean bridge where I want to put those or sculpt those stitches. Now before I do that, I'm going to put in some divots over here with my standard brush where I can kind of, let's go ahead and increase our intensity up just a little bit and go into stroke, turn off lazy mouse. So I can kind of go through here and I can kind of put some divots in. And in fact, let's turn our poly paint back on. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to tap C over this color and I'm going to just turn on RGB for our standard brush. I'm just going to kind of paint underneath where those stitches are going to go. And then now I'm going to go grab a color for those stitches. Let's just make them like a yellowish. Well, that's kind of the color of his skin. Let's make it a little, um, let's make it very white, much lighter than his skin. And then I'm going to have RGB and Z add turned on for this. So I'm just going to go and sculpt a stitch right across here. So now let's say I want to extract all this. If I want to, if I don't want to deal with like history with my extractions or anything like this, I can always just control tap the latest point in my history and I know it's just going to grab everything I see. So again, we'll go to BXT for our extractor brush. I'm going to make my brush size big enough. I'm going to make sure RGB is on. I'm going to make sure I have my poly paint on. I'm going to hit G. And again, if I don't want it to have any skips, I'm going to go through, I'm going to start here and then kind of end right about here. And now you're going to see it loads in a texture along with this alpha. Now if I want to use these again, I can go up here to brush, save as, or if I want to, I can actually do this too. I can go into brush. Let's go ahead and clone this off so I don't, I can use my extractor brush again with the defaults. Brush, hold down alt, hit select icon, and now it's going to capture whatever's on my uh, document as its icon, and then I can go to save as, and I can name this. Let's go into ZBrush 2020, Z brushes. I'll put those in my creature brushes, and we'll call this Frankenstein stitches. So now when I hit the comma key and I go to my brush tab, and if you don't have a, you probably don't have a creature folder, you can just make a folder in there when you were saving it. Uh, now you're going to see I have a Frankenstein stitches brush. So now when I use this, it's going to go ahead and do Frankenstein stitches, and the color is going to be built in uh, to the brush as well. And you can make your brush size smaller or make them bigger. And again, if you needed to capture more detail, that's when you go into alpha. When you, when you grab it and you change that alpha width, when you hit from brush, just make sure you uh, up that alpha width a bit. 